What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Managing ongoing subscriptions and keeping track of ARR and MRR is key to running a successful business like my fitness center, Healthy Dude. Today, we'll take a look at how to renew and close existing subscriptions in Odoo, but enough chit chat and let's get into some Healthy Dude subscriptions. We're starting here on the main subscriptions app dashboard in Odoo. This gives us a default overview of all of our current subscriptions. From here, we can click on a subscription to check the status and payment information. And for example, this subscription here for Sophie has an order date that also represents the start of her subscription. Now, if you notice that this looks like a typical sales order from the sales app, you're completely right. Odoo makes it easy to do cross app functionality so we don't have to worry about different formatting. And in the reoccurring plan below, I can see that Sophie has a monthly plan that will end on the 15th. If a customer's membership is nearing expiration and they wish to renew, you can do that directly from the sales order. We can only renew sales orders that have been invoiced, so I'll do that now by hitting Create Invoice, and we're going to keep this on Regular Invoice and just hit Create Draft. Now, once it takes us to the new invoice, all we have to do is hit Confirm. And this lets Odoo know that the subscription is being paid. Now we can head back to the sales order through the smart button here at the top, and then click the renew button. Once we do, Odoo will automatically create a brand new subscription quote for this same customer and the product. Once we hit confirm here, we'll see some new smart buttons are generated to help us navigate different parts of the subscription. If we click on sales history through the smart buttons at the top, we can see an overview of Sophie's current and past subscriptions. As we can see under the subscription status column, the newest sales order is currently in progress, and below that we can see her monthly subscription has renewed. Like I said, this never happens at our fitness center, but sometimes a customer might have to end their subscription. So let's see what that looks like here in Odoo. So if Sophie wanted to end her subscription, all we would have to do is hit this close button. When we do, this opens a close reason pop-up window where we can add why this customer is not renewing their subscription. We can either select one of these existing reasons or we can type in a new one. However, let's say this customer thinks their subscription is too expensive and then we'll hit submit, which closes the subscription. And once we do that, this is now labeled as churned. If somebody else on the team wanted to check on why the subscription was closed, they can also check on the chatter, which tracks all the different stages and changes of this order. But don't fret, oh doers, customers can always come back. At least that's what would happen here at Healthy Dudes if we ever did lose a customer thanks to Odoo. Now, even once a subscription, now even once a subscription is closed, we still have the option to reopen it with this reopen button. If this customer changed their mind and wanted to start up their fitness journey again, we can just click reopen. And that subscription reverts back to in progress. Because we already have an existing invoice for the sales order, all we would have to do is select send by email, which presents us with this pop-up that allows us to send the invoice directly to the customer with a PDF of the sales order. Odoo also makes sure that we tracked our reopened subscriptions, and if we ever wanted to check the chatter on the sales order, we can also see we now have an activity to check the reopened subscription. Fortunately, I've already checked in with my customer, so I can go ahead and mark this as done. And let's also leave a quick note on this here and just say the customer changed their mind about closing their membership. Then we'll click done. And just like that, the subscription is active and our customer is a healthy dude once again. One last thing to note is that canceling a subscription is completely different from closing one, which we previously covered in this video. Customers can only cancel subscriptions in the quotation stage before they're invoiced. Here's a quotation for a subscription that my customer is not going to go through with. And to cancel, all I have to do is click the cancel button here at the top. And once I do, the sales order goes into the canceled stage. 
As a business owner, it's important for me to track how my subscriptions are going. When we lose a customer, the difference between closing and canceling lets me know what stage we lost them, which can help me make improvements here at Healthy Dude. We talk a lot about retention and churn in our subscriptions report tutorial, which I'll link down below so you can learn more. But that's all for today, Odoers. We learned how to manage subscriptions from renewing to closing or canceling and then reopening them all again. I'm going to go ahead and do 900 push-ups, but I'll see you next time.